really set you know the tone for the game. They just made them a little hesitant offensively, and and um, you know he he really really was active and you know really in great position and uh, no doubt you know you know gave us an opportunity to because we're having a little trouble getting going offensively ourselves. You know, and, and Kenny set such a great tone defensively that we really uh, gave us an opportunity. This week, you took around that a lot of the home teams were, were losing in the conference, and you talked about how you guys lost some opportunities earlier this year at home. Now you come and get a home sweep, and that in turn moved you up. Yeah, no, I, you know, we uh, we needed to get something done at home. Obviously, we only have two home games left. We got to go on the road five times, so. Uh, you know, you want to find out how together of a team we have. Uh, you know, schedule kind of shifts um, against us. But uh, the best thing is we're we're probably as healthy as we've been uh, in a long time. Uh, so, and especially with a couple days here to hopefully get Paul's ankle a little bit better. And so uh, that that's the the positive is you know Kenny's gotten used to his math mask, and uh, uh, you know I think we're a little healthier. You know than we've we've ever been. So um, that's the positive. The negative is uh, schedule really shifts against us here. Oh, he he was really good tonight. I I thought uh, straight line drives got to the rim. Um, you know, finished some tough shots. Uh, so no, I I thought he he did a good job. Lou the second half I thought offensively was really good. Uh, we only had two turnovers the second half, which you know, really helped us uh, score 39 points. So, you know, I, I thought there were a lot of positives. Can you try and encapsulate just in a week, you go from uh, one half performance in Colorado that was as woeful as you've seen in your tenure here, and now hold them to 27 threes, one of the lowest you've held Pac 12 opponent in your tenure here. Just, but this is the same team in a week span that you can see. Well, you know, not making excuses for him, but that's sometimes youth. You know, um, things don't go your way, and you and you give in to it. Um, you know, Colorado's playing really good, but we we had a bad half on uh, that first half. We were we were really bad. So, um, you know, hopefully, you know, our guys understand the difference of preparing, getting yourself ready for a game. Um, you know how important every possession is in a game. How important. You know, I, I thought the free throws might come back to haunt us. You know, we were five for eleven that first half, and uh, you know, you just every little thing to keep yourself in a game to keep that edge. Uh, you know, you're always worried about. Uh, you know, I think we did a little better job shooting free throws the second half, but uh, you know, the first half uh, just just didn't shoot them very good. Coach, it seems like every player now is contributing, whether it's starting or off the bench and all the different combinations. Today, as the season progresses, your depth has really gotten a lot better, or you feel more confident. And, and well, I'm impressed with that. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it gives us an opportunity when we can play nine guys to do different things defensively, and and not worry quite so much about foul trouble. But obviously, you know, when Kenny picked up that second foul, you know, I think they scored five of the last eight times, you know, to to finish the first half, and and that's without Kenny, you know, so. Uh, we, we still have to be careful about fouls. Uh, our freshmen have to talk. I mean, uh, we gave up that three, and I'd take a time out there. You just didn't talk. We, we were all back, you know, just but no talk. And we just gave up a wide open three. And uh, so not only our freshmen, everybody. You know, I, I, I've been taught about communication all year. Um, it's one thing that we, we haven't done a very good job of teaching and getting them to understand how important it is. Um, so on the offensive end and the defensive end, uh, you know, I've joked around. Like I said, if we could text each other, we'd we'd have a heck of a lot better communication. But talking to each other, we just don't do it. And uh, you know, this has been a really quiet group. You know, go back to some of our other teams. We had loud guys. You know, uh, Brooks talked all the time. Ennis talked all the time. Bell talked all the time. Uh, Tyler didn't, but the rest of those guys did. And and uh, you know, and this is just a quiet group. You know, they just they just don't talk much off the floor. They don't talk much on the floor. And, uh, uh, you know, so, you know, we just got to do a better job of forcing them to, to do that, getting out of their comfort zone so we can eliminate some bad mistakes we're still making. 
Paul is one of the better offensive players in the conference. What was it? You know, hit three for 14, 10 points. Pretty good. Well, there's no doubt. He got to the rim uh, three or four times in that first half, and Kenny, you know, didn't give him easy baskets. And uh, he's a phenomenal athlete. He, you know, puts that ball for his size on the floor. Uh, can shoot the three. You know, it just. Um, He's, he's a guy that's really hard to guard. But, you know, I, I thought Kenny there was a difference, too. You know, he just didn't let him get to the rim easy and, uh, and, and really set the tone. He had just three assists in this game. How much do you credit that to your defense and then also to Dejon? Oh, that's a big part of it. You know, he's, he's a good player, second leading scorer, averages 12 points a game. Uh, assist to turnover ratio, not real good, but he does create a lot of things. But, uh, no, I mean, Take game player off, you know, off the floor, and and it changes your team. Uh, there's no doubt about it. And uh, uh, so, you know, that that was a break for us. Aiden and Victor both kind of for the whole weekend in terms of getting back into a better shooting rotation. Looks like for both of them. Yeah, no, it was, it was great to see V hit some shots today, and and Peyton shot it well. No, it's uh, you know we, we we need to shoot the ball. You know, we we haven't been shooting it worth a darn. You know, and. Part of it's been shot selection. Part of it's the ball movement that we've talked about. But part of it's just hitting open shots, you know. And, and we've had some open, a lot of open shots. Uh, in fact, I think uh, Ken Palm or someone said that we were shooting uncontested shots at a lower percentage than we were shooting contested shots. So that really scares you. That, that's one I've never seen. Uh, I swear to God it was. It, so we, we've got to be... You know, just make sure we're comfortable, relax a little bit, and, and hit some shots. Did you see uh, Chris Boucher Yeah, I did. I was really happy. I texted him and uh, uh, before the game there when I saw it. So, uh, really happy. I mean, that couldn't happen to a nicer young man, and uh, feel feel really good for he and his mother. Who his mother was unbelievably supportive when he was here, and. Uh, Rock solid. So I'm I'm happy for Mary. I'm happy for Chris. It's uh, and that couldn't be couldn't be any better. Week between game more about keeping these guys healthy now that you're there, or you got things you think. A couple days oh ahead. no, we we got a lot of work to do, but uh, we will take a couple of days here. We just uh, get a lot of recovery and a lot of treatment, and and see if you know. Uh, Mon or Wednesday we'll be ready to go, but we are going to take a couple of days here and. and uh, then we'll we'll still have three days to get ready for Oregon State, and uh, you know so hopefully that'll give us enough time.